Good morning, guys. Uh, we're back at the uh, power plant, uh, and I got great news. We are going inside today. Not on the outside, no just like viewing from the perimeter around the fence. We're going inside and possibly up. Just the thought of it scares the crap out of me. As you guys know, I've mentioned before, I'm not a huge uh, fan of heights. I really do want the picture, so I might just have to like tell my brain to tell my legs to climb up there. So, ah, makes me nervous just thinking about it. This is Nate. Nate uh, is nice enough to uh, take us on a tour and tell us some info. Glad we're not going way up there. So, thank you in advance for uh, not taking me up there. Yeah. Look at this, dude. Oh, oh my go. god. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen before. This is amazing. This, this is amazing. nuts. didn't give you guys a proper explanation of what this place is it's a cooling tower and what uh, Nate said is basically it's like a giant rainmaker like a giant radiator just to cool all the steam to turn it back into water and recapture it and that's basically the purpose of this open air structure you can make like a song in here This is crazy. It's a rave in here. Oh, dude. Wait, that'd be sick. Whoa. When we when we're in the tornado one, a guy threw a rock against the side of it. The uh, tour guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just went. <laughs> dude, let me do something crazy. This is so nuts. This is so nuts. Everybody start laughing. <laughs> what the, oh my god. I could spend forever in here. Oh my gosh, this is the most insane thing ever! So I was standing right here. Oh, I'll show you kind of how this thing brings the water. Whoa. See that riser there? That's where that warm water is pumped up through 12 foot um, diameter tunnels that come from the condenser pits. Wow. That warm water pumps up through these channels and out through the white piping and it sprays down and that heated water is rising and evaporating. Um, as steam rises, it's evaporating and, and dropping down in droplets, hitting the black packing material. It's about four foot thick and it percolates through there and rains down into the pond. That pond water goes back and, re and just recirculates warm water to cold water all day long. That's crazy. But yeah, that's how the water actually gets in here. This and is it, like scary because of how far my drop it is. Yeah. Like you standing would, on the edge right here. So it's scary. That water gets pumped up here? Yeah, exactly. There's three 7,000 horsepower pumps at about 500,000 gallons a minute. Wow. At peak, at, you know, peak output. That's crazy. Someone dropped a couple quarters right there. Right. Yeah, they've been trying to like do that shit for <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're in the middle right now. This is so crazy. The audio, the acoustics, as you can tell, is totally insane in here. Oh my god. It sounds like there's four of me. <laughs> Alright, so this is the uh, bottom part where the steam turns into water, which then flows through this uh, mesh area. And then, if this thing was under operation, this would be just like one giant rain cloud right here the entire time. And that's just to uh, repurpose the water, basically, and send it back over where we're about to go and use it again. So now we're gonna head into the reactor. It's a five feet thick 
concrete wall. As you can see, this is this never got finished, so it's just rebar and hanging out of this concrete here. This is like stuff straight out of Homer Simpson, you know what I mean? Like Mr. Burns, you know, you're jumping in the reactor. Yeah. Whoa! This looks just like the movies. <laughs> The reactor is separated from the reactor auxiliary building by a three foot thick reinforced concrete wall. It's about a four foot space gap annulus and a two, two inch thick steel containment vessel. That's what separates the outside world from the actual reactor core or the reactor building itself. Okay. Jeez. Holy crap. And we're going to go upstairs to the operating deck. Oh, cool. Look at all this. Wow. This is a. Uh quite impressive and very foreign to me. <laughs> Again, I'm still mind blown at the fact that humans like me Steam generators on each side. The tall building there was a pressurizer. This is a PWR, which is a pressurized water reactor. Uh, the pressurizer kept the system at about 2100 psi, I believe. <coughs> and this was all in here. It was all scrapped in the early 2000s. And this is what we have remaining. <laughs> So this part is the uh, turbine room, like we said before, uh, or not. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that out or not. <laughs> but the, basically the water went through the turbines over there and then got pumped over to the previous parts and got heated from the reactor. And this is what's left over. A lot of the stuff has uh, been uh, scrapped and uh, there's uh, basically just kind of the components of the structure itself um, here. And uh, I think uh, they do rent out this area for different occasions, events, movies, commercials, music videos, things like that, but really cool. Um, if you guys do want to come down and check it out, there are public tours. This is not one of them. Uh, <laughs> this is a kind of uh, private tour that we just sort of lucked out on. So come by, check it out, but uh, make sure you don't jump the fence because <laughs> they've arrested like 25 people this year. You have a certain glow to you right now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how much longer I got to live. <laughs> Are you guys feeling the radiation? Dude, between this, Fukushima, Chernobyl, <laughs> it's just all over. <laughs> uh, like I said before, this uh, was a power plant that never was finished. So to everybody who saw the uh, tweet and things like that, we're safe. Didn't have to do any crazy uh, suits or anything. Thank you for the tour, and uh, if anybody wants to come and uh, do a tour, there's a number right there. Guys, we are now over at Vance Creek. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's unsafe and dangerous. Stay off of it, apparently. Um, and it's a little weird because we're in like the national forest and there's a sign over here that says private property. So if anybody knows how that works, <laughs> feel free to comment below. This is the Vance Creek Bridge. Uh, they definitely don't want people going on top of it now. Um, the last time I saw a video, you could walk out and there was railroad ties missing. You just had to be careful, but it looks like they came down here and stripped out the first like 50 feet. They added this barbed wire and uh, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of uh, height, so there's no way uh, that I'm going to be going up there. Holy, it's even slippery right here, but this is, how, this is how somebody fashioned a little way to get up there. Someone literally cut the barbed wire yeah. and put these things here. Yeah, uh, that's pretty sketchy. Now we look, at this, look at these razor blades. Yeah. There we got the, uh, <laughs> the guys climbing up through the uh, barbed wire and everything.
How's it looking over there? Sketchy. Sketchy, he says. No kidding. The reason these places are becoming obsolete is because of social media. Uh, they're com becoming too popular and <laughs> they just they just get, you know, blown up and um, more people come, someone gets injured, and then something like this happens where they just strip the whole thing so nobody can go there anymore. <laughs> So this is just called the uh, High Steel Bridge. We're uh, we're par we're parked right in the uh, middle of the thing, and for some reason I'm I'm not as scared as other bridges, probably because I just got out of the vehicle. But we're gonna jump on the roof and do a quick uh, Instagram mission for the boys. I can't see anything. <laughs> Just your Thursday, a abandoned nuclear power plant, and we're standing on top of the bus on top of a bridge with uh, some epic drone shots over here. This is average. Thing. This is pushing my comfort zone. I don't, it just feels weird, even though I know I'm not going to fall. It's just, I don't know. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. It's about 480 feet above the ground, above the water, and it goes for I think like 685 feet uh, long. And uh, although it's not as pretty as the Vance Creek Bridge with all the railroad ties and the lines like that, I mean, it is a bridge and it's not destroyed and you can even drive on it. Josh is uh, uploading his uh, video for tomorrow. Cody's back there editing. We're about to spoon. And uh, <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have parked the vehicle. Dan the Adventure Bus has been parked for the day in a not very exciting rest stop. Um, rest, wah, wah, wah. Uh, just, to, just to show you guys, we got some neighbors up here. See, the closer you get to the big cities, uh, especially in the Pacific Northwest, the more full-time vehicle dwellers you run into, like urban vehicle dwellers. So uh, this parking lot is packed. Tons of RVs, permanent RVs. Not like a, we're taking a road trip RV, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Buy Josh's merch and also Cody's. Yeah.